What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We got to talk about Baby Doge. Baby Doge is pumping huge. So this is going to be really big. We're going to do some technical analysis and just talk about what's coming up next inside of Baby Doge, why we're pumping and where this is more likely to take us. So yes, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section. Check out my Instagram. I'll be updating you all on when I'm going to be going live on there. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. So let's talk about this pump we had in Baby Dose. This was a major pump. This is not retail traders right here. Let's, let's just make that clear. This right here, this huge green candlestick, this is not retail trading. This is pure whales, and this is the whales pumping it up huge. And the only reason you're seeing a little bit of a sell-off is probably because of some of the retail traders seeing some profit and they start to sell off. But I believe there's about to be another pump coming in for Baby Doge and this is going to be pretty big. So yeah, this pump took us all the way down here and for some reason uh my my trading view is not showing the numbers here for Baby Doge. So if you all know how to fix this over here on the right side, get this to show the numbers, definitely let me know that because I tried to come over here and up the position precision and it it did on the sidebar here but it won't do it over here anyways let's get back to it though but look this is crazy because for one we went all the way down here from this level down here right at the break of the one two area all the way up here so at the moment we actually very briefly got to 1300 we got past 1250 which is very good if you look over here baby deal was up 8.2 percent in the last 24 hours that was just a huge rise inside of baby doge's price but i believe we're going to continue to see these rises in the price of baby doge uh, for how long i'm not sure but it's going to keep going and it's going to keep going long but anyways let's talk about where we could possibly be getting next here with baby doge so the next area for baby doge to go i'm predicting us getting all the way back up here to this resistance line and this is right at the break of one four so we're probably about to see that one four area coming up here again for baby doge so prepare for that and anyways, like when we hit 1.4, after that, we could probably end up seeing Baby Doge getting all the way up here to the next area. And that's 1.6. So yeah, we have a lot here for Baby Doge. And then obviously 1.7 is what comes after that. So I really think leading up to the October 5th um, launch of the main net, that we're going to get some nice pumps coming in for Baby Doge. So let's keep watching that rise. I mean, everything's going on good. Everything's going well. Let's keep watching this rise for Baby Doge. Let's look at the four hour chart though. So over here, you can see on the four hour chart here with Baby Doge, the bulls in control by 60% now. So now we're 60% bullish here looking for the long term with Baby Doge. And we still kind of have the same levels. We're still kind of rising up here to these same levels. So yeah, there's still the same resistance lines and we just got to wait for these to get through. Now, let's talk about Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin now. So first of all, for Bitcoin, you can see bullish by 80% in the last 24 hours. All very good stuff there. And also here in Bitcoin, we're over here at this high activity area. And this high activity is probably going to be some buying activity coming in. To be honest, you can see even Bitcoin is doing some pumps just like Baby Doge. So I think everything in the market is really starting to have some bullish movements here. If you go ahead and you look at the whole overall market, you can see a little bit of bullish movement here as well. Bitcoin up 1.6% for the last 24 hours and uh, also up 1.7% for the last seven days. But it is kind of getting some of that money back that we lost inside of the crypto market. So hopefully we keep rising here in the crypto market. Now, let's look at where Bitcoin is more likely to go. This is just a five minute chart. So let's go ahead and up this to the 15 minute chart. Now, looking at the 15 minute chart, we are coming off of an overbought area. It's showing us. So we were overbought, they're saying here. And then we already had that sell off starting to come in. But now that we had that sell off, Look, we're hitting the support area. So over here, it's at high activity expected. But see, that was high selling activity when we hit the red area. If it says high activity and we're at a red area like this, a red shaded area, this is supply and demand of less demand. So that high activity is more than likely going to be high selling activity. That's exactly what we've seen. We've seen high selling activity. Now, if we were to pull back a little bit more to this next high activity area, notice there's a green shaded area over here. This could be high buying activity. So we actually have the possibility inside of Bitcoin to continue to rise from here, but we just won't know until that happens. But look, if Bitcoin continues to become bearish and breaks the support here at 19.6K, eventually we will see at the 18.8K. So I'm still looking over there for that with Bitcoin. Now also the four hour chart, if we look at the four hour chart for Bitcoin, it's kind of the same thing. You know, we have the possibility to get up here to 20.1K, but if we keep getting rejected, then that support is obviously where we're gonna be going next if we keep getting rejected. But hey, 
we have bullish signals here because um, let me go back over here to the four hour chart but we have bullish signals down here you can actually see that because the selling is slowing down we should see some bullish signals coming back in for bitcoin but we won't know until the time tells but you know we are getting more holders every day 1,620,511 holders and yeah we just keep getting more holders 24 7 and also we burned 11.38k worth of baby doge today in the last 24 hours which comes out to be 9.53 trillion baby doge so that's pretty big that's a pretty significant amount of baby doge right there and you don't forget we're still supposed to be getting the main net here we're still supposed to be getting the main net on the 5th of october so that's going to be pretty big for us you know a lot of people are waiting for this and i really do believe that's why we're pumping here inside of baby doge and this is something i was talking about yesterday i was talking about how us getting this main net is going to be one of the things that makes us pump and also a lot of people are going to be pumping leading up to then a lot of hype is going to be hyped up so we're starting to see the hype starting to flow in if y'all aren't following me on twitter definitely do that i'm always tweeting about baby doge so go ahead and hit the retweet button go to the baby doge main page retweet all these tweets on the baby doge main page and even if you have to un undo the retweet and then redo the retweet so then it keeps getting pushed out there so the more engagement we have here on baby doge the more we're going to rise here and also on my twitter you know go ahead and do some retweets on these tweets as well this is for luna classic but over here i got the baby doge retweet from yesterday so go ahead and retweet that if you haven't and i'm going to keep on pushing out the baby doge message out there to all the people out there if you're not following me on instagram definitely follow me there i'm, I'm definitely going to start posting about baby doge more on my instagram because i've been slacking on the instagram game but i'm trying to get my instagram back up there and posting about baby doge every day on there as well but yeah, we need to get the message out there for Baby Doge getting released on October 5th. That's definitely going to be really good. But hey, definitely just rally around it and let's try to get Baby Doge trending on Twitter. Some kind of hashtag, maybe hashtag Baby Doge swap trending on Twitter. That might be a really nice hashtag to get trending on Twitter. So that'll be really cool too. But hey, this is all I got for y'all today. I'm definitely going to keep updating you all on what we got going on with Baby Doge. But if you're new to the channel and you haven't hit it yet, definitely hit that like button and subscribe. It really helped the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. We got to push this message out there. Leave the comments in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next and what you think about this. And also, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. As always, I'll be back with another video.